Mankind has made many groundbreaking achievements over time, but there are still mysterious secrets from the past that challenge scientists around the world. This video features eight ancient structures that still baffle experts today. How could our ancestors have built these monumental structures without modern technology and knowledge? What insights can we draw from these mysterious sites and what gaps in our historiography can they reveal? Dive into the world of archaeology and discover with us the unsolved mysteries of the past. Olan Taitambo At first glance, the matter seems clear. Located in the Peruvian province of Urumba, Oli Taitambo is a prime example of Inca-era architecture. Many hundreds of years after its construction, the buildings and terraces still present themselves in their original splendor. The meticulous subdivision shows that the individual administrative, agricultural, and military facilities were quite clearly demarcated from one another. However, experts are still arguing about who really created the original Oli Taitambo. It is conceivable that the site was actually built by the Taiwanaki culture. The Incas, therefore, only sat down later in the nest that had already been made. This theory is supported above all by the age of the stones used. According to this theory, the wall of the six monoliths is older than the Inca themselves. Also, some stylistic decisions, as for example the T-shaped settings and the striking step motive, would speak for the Taiwanaku as originators. No less puzzling a pair of those stone projections commonly referred to as knobs. These sometimes angular, sometimes rounded protrusions are interpreted by most historians as so-called intiwanatanas. This refers to ritual stones that served as special sundials. The problem is that to this day we do not know how these sundials might have functioned. Other researchers, however, believe that the protrusions had a more practical purpose as they facilitated the lowering of the blocks, which weighed tons, and appros heavy as tons. In view of the fact that the construction of the complex would have required an almost inhuman amount of strength, the pre-astronautics think that Oli Tantambo actually had an extraterrestrial background. Thus, neither the Incas nor the Tiwanaku culture is said to have been able to build such structures with tools of their time. The perfectly finished monumental structures would prove once again that the ancients received help in their projects that literally did not come from this world. Nan Madal Located on 92 artificial islands in the South Pacific, Micronesia, Nan Madal is interpreted as a city in the classical sense. If one follows the explanations of the experts, the site originated rather as an isolated ritual center, which was intended exclusively for the politico-religious elite. What is certain is that the settlement history of the region goes back at least 3,000 years. Built on a coral reef, however, very little is known about the monolithic structure of Nan Madal. However, the massive stone blocks may have been far too heavy to have been moved without mechanical devices. The most exciting myths and legends have always circulated among the local population about the construction of Nan Madal. In this regard, among other things, there is a talk of black magic and a lost race that came from a continent that has now disappeared. Skara Bray Although the Neolithic settlement of Skara Bray probably originated between the years 3100 and 2500 BC, it was to take until 1850 before the venerable site was rediscovered. At that time, a violent storm whipped across the Scottish island of Ornke, which not only claimed more than 200 lives, but also uncovered the long-forgotten buildings. The fact that Skara Bray has since been known as the Pompeii of Scotland is due to the extraordinarily good state of preservation of the site. Archaeological investigations have shown that cattle were once kept there. Agriculture was practiced, and bread was baked. And although the eight dwellings of Skara Bray give us an authentic insight into the life of the Scottish Neolithic period, their exact history still remains a mystery. Human remains, carvings, and a bull's head fueled theories about ancient religious rituals. But why the inhabitants abandoned the village more than 4,000 years ago is uncertain. It may have been due to encroaching dunes or an unknown event of catastrophic proportions. Stonehenge When it comes to enigmatic structures from the past, Stonehenge is something of a monumental classic. 
Built more than 4,000 years ago near the English town of Amesbury, the massive megaliths erected into cohesive structures still puzzle us mightily. However, the question of how they were built is by no means the only mystery that accompanies Stonehenge. The original purpose of the stone is also the focus of heated discussions. The relevant theories range from a burial site or a comparable cult site to an astronomical observatory. Experts have confirmed that the larger stones, each weighing up to 30 tons, originate from the Marlborough Downs, a good 30 kilometers away, while the smaller blocks were brought from southwest Wales. However, it is unclear how they were ultimately transported to their intended location. Moai Why did the former inhabitants of Easter Island create those colossal stone statues we know today as Moai? In fact, experts have still not been able to agree on a unified answer to this question. What is certain is that the Moai, of which there were probably more than 1,000 at one time, were not created on their own, but were part of larger ceremonial platforms. It is conceivable that the stone colossi were meant to represent either the sacred ancestors or honorable chiefs in order to bridge the gap between the world of the living and the dead. Particularly mysterious is the fact that the production of the statues apparently came to a standstill from one day to the next. Some historians estimate that the work stoppage was preceded by a dispute between the craftsmen and the food suppliers. A local Easter Island legend says that an old witch once caught a huge spiny lobster and brought it to the workers, asking them to save a small piece for her. However, the stonemasons ate the lobster completely, and when the sorceress saw this, she cursed the figures, which all fell down as a result. Colossal Heads In the 1940s, archaeologists in Mexico recovered the first colossal stone heads from the ranks of the Olmec culture. In the meantime, ten of these massive witnesses have been brought back to the light of day, with some of them towering 2.85 meters high and weighing in at a whopping 25 tons. Recovered in San Lorenzo, the oldest ceremonial center in Mesoamerica, the skulls are believed to have been created over a period of just 100 years. While each head was carved from a single block, they exhibit slightly divergent characteristics, a fact that suggests that the figures were modeled after actual humans. These artifacts are some of the few clues to the history of the Olmec civilization, which underwent a rapid decline more than 2,000 years ago and virtually disappeared from the earthly scene. Georgia Guidestones Located in the U.S. state that gives it its name, the Georgia Guidestones have sometimes been referred to as the Stonehenge of America, a title, however, that did not really fit in view of the construction year, 1980. Before the structure was destroyed in an explosives attack in the summer of 2022, onlookers were able to take a look at the 10 strange inscriptions which were listed in eight different languages. For example, the tablets stated that the world's population should be reduced to a number of 500 million. Furthermore, the remaining humanity should be united with the help of a new common language. Ultimately, however, each nation would only take care of its own affairs. Disputes of international scope were to be settled by a world court. Who ultimately commissioned the construction of the Georgia Guidestones has not been conclusively clarified. What is certain is that the later construction company was approached by a man who called himself Robert C. Christian and auditioned on behalf of a small group of loyal Americans. Pumapunku Originating in the 6th century AD, the Pumapunka platform mound in Bolivia was used by both the Tiwanaku culture and the Inca civilization. The unrivaled precision in which the individual components were carved out appears so perfect that it can even be compared to that of modern computer-controlled lasers. But how is this possible at all? After all, the builders of the plant did not yet know such technologies. Well, as you can imagine, the pre-astronauts have their own views of Pumapanka. Accordingly, this is one of the most important proofs of the correctness of the parascientific current. According to it, Pumapunku had served not at all human inhabitants as a homeland, but extraterrestrial beings. This daring thesis is countered by critics that the followers of pre-astronautics unfortunately too often tend to helplessly underestimate the architectural abilities of the earthly natives. So folks, and now it's your turn. What do you think about the exciting buildings we've presented to you today? 
Do you know of any other buildings from the past that still puzzle us? As always, drop your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. While you're at it, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to learn more about history's greatest mysteries soon. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel, which you can get to by clicking on one of the images here in the credits now. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.